Hi everyone, we're back today with another review of locomotives. This time we're looking at Intermountain's SD40-2s. These have been out for a while, but, um, you know, figured that people still buy them used or off eBay or something, so I figured we might as well talk about them, give them a look. What we have here are two of the Intermountain SD40 series for HO. They're both DCC, but the UP one does have sound, and we'll get to that in a second. But I wanted to point out some of the details of these. These have a lot of really nice details, nice under the truck details, separately applied grab irons, you know, two scale handrails, which look really nice. There is, I don't know if it will focus a little bit, there's a full cab interior in there, which is nice. Few details you do need to apply yourself, such as the window shades, horn, and then your choice of either straight out, like put down uh, walkways or up, like you see here. Um, I had to put these up on the Chicago Northwestern one because when this is down, uh, these will actually rub together because it's so close at clearance. But uh, moving back around, uh, nice paint, nice and crisp. You have see-through steps. You have all of the air hoses and MU hoses that are separately applied. This model has ditch lights. The Chicago Northwestern one doesn't. Um, bright headlights, bright di light, ditch lights, um, lighted number boards. Uh, the Chicago Northwest one has lighted front and back number boards. Uh, they both have like the see-through vent right here, which is really neat, or the window to look into the engine room. There are fans visible through all of the fans right there, through the grills, which is really nice, nice feature. Um, these are really good uh, pullers, really good details, no bell, all of that. One of the things that is worth paying attention to on these, and I'll circle around to this one too so you can see it, is that they get very touchy on uneven track. It is probably the biggest complaint about Intermountain locomotives. If you have any, I'm sure you know what that's like, but especially for some reason the SD40 series, they just get incredibly touchy about uh, whether or not your track is level or has the right bank or anything like that. It took me a while to get my layout so that I could run them like that. Okay, so moving on to the sounds, I wanted to give you a nice uh, sound demonstration. So I'm gonna add a microphone up here so you can hear it. And we will look at the sounds. So we have startup sounds. These start automatically when track power is applied. It also will not let you move your locomotive until the songs are done applying and your locomotive is running at a normal idle. Nice random time. Uh, air spitters, air pumps, everything like that. Horn. And there are different programmable ones. I haven't actually messed with that. I didn't really realize that until recently that there's different options, so that's something I'm going to play with at some point, see what I can find. Uh, but it sounds pretty nice. Well, very nice as well. And then you have a variety of other horns and sounds, um, but just to show some start up here and movement. Very nice low slow runners. This is in a speed step two right now. It's a little bit of a brake scale as well in there. When you're up higher in the notches, you do have a tendency to uh, get higher and louder sound, which is nice. There is a way to manually match that up and down. And I'll also do a couple of run by videos for you with the trim so you can see them in action. Um, the one other thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to do a light uh, demonstration. So I'm going to make the lights in here dark and uh, show you what that looks like. Okay, here we are for the night demonstration. This is one of my favorite features about it, is just how bright 
the lights are. I mean, there's pretty much dead on with the ditch lights there. You can see nice and bright headlight. You can see the effects on the head. Lights up a good section of the track ahead here. It's super neat. You can see the lighted number boards right there that say 2966. Um, you can control on and off individually in demo. And then, um, let me flip this around. You have this nice fade out. So when we go into reverse, we now have very nice bright rear headlight like that. Same thing, puts out a lot of light. The fade out and fade in is pretty neat. Let me get back around in the front here so that you can see that. So, nice feature. Uh, looking at the Chicago Northwestern one, you can bring up the headlights on it. You can see here in the back we have nice lighted number boards uh, 6829. The UP ones, I took out the lighted number boards on that. And then we have the front here as well, nice lighted number boards. And once again, very nice bright headlight. There we go. I flipped it over so you can get a little closer angle there. But uh, you can see it light up the track. It's very nice and very prototypical as well. But really like the way that that looks. It's very nice and bright. If you do run at night or anything like that, these are good ones uh, to run on that. Let me just show you just one more time from the track level here of how bright this is. And you can see it reflecting off the lens there. And even that's probably my best in the back. But uh, that's pretty much it. Like I said, there's going to be a couple of run, uh, run bys with it. And I'll go from there. Thank you.